Happy Wednesday. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, if you participated in our pie pickup, I hope you enjoyed your pies. I know that our team worked very hard and I wanna thank all of our administrative team members um, that worked. I know Shelby, Latasha, I'm not sure who, whom else. It was not me, but I wanna thank our administrative team for coordinating that at our various locations on Maui and putting that together. Um, it was very much appreciated, so thank you. And um, on the Big Island. And on the Big Island, so yeah. I, I know we had a couple different pie vendors, so. Um, I was in Kahului for a little while and was able to hand out a few pies and uh, it, it's a nice way to start the holiday season, that's for sure. Okay, so um, Lisa's traveling on the mainland. She's at our corporate office in Austin today at a team leaders mastermind with Gary Keller. So as one of the top team leaders in the country, she gets to go and participate with him. And that's really exciting for us as a market center. So I'm very excited to see what she brings back to us mid-December when she comes home. For today, I have a list of things I'm gonna go over and then we're gonna open up the floor. Um, I wanted to remind everyone, and there's only a few of you left, that the NAR ethics requirement is this is a renewal year. If you have not completed your NAR ethics requirements, you can do that through NAR. There's a link to take the class online for free at your own pace. And then you provide a copy of your completion certificate to the board. Otherwise, anyone in our company can participate through the Realtors Association of Maui. They have a Zoom ethics class on December 15th from one to 415. So if you need that, uh, make sure you get it because it uh, will affect your membership with your local board if you do not complete that. That's a national requirement. Um, for those Maui agents, uh, Marion is teaching a Paragon class this week on Friday. There's actually two different modules. One is using Paragon on pricing and one is on contacts. Um, Marion, are you on the call this morning? Okay, I was there gonna talk. Okay, well, um, check out the Rams education site if you're interested in either of those classes there this Friday. All right, uh, we did start our Keller Williams sponsored free real estate school on Monday this week. We have 22 registered participants. So I'm really excited that we'll be offering this again several times next year. So this is a great opportunity for you to be able to give someone the opportunity to determine is real estate a career for them. And there's several different components. Nicole Burns, who is our productivity coach uh, leading our program, she will do a KPA with anyone who raises their hand and says, hey, I'm thinking about moving into real estate as a career. And a lot of people at the new year are looking at transition. So either before the holidays or as you spend the time connecting with your clients this month and or family and friends over the holidays, and you're having those conversations of people who are, are in transition, not really sure what they wanna do going forward, bring this up to them that it's an opportunity because if they take a KPA, which is a Keller personality assessment, it gives them insight to their strengths and what type of jobs they're a good fit for. So even if it's not real estate, they still get a benefit and she'll review those results with them. So we offer that, that's a great opportunity. Then if they decide they wanna go into real estate, they could register for a pre-licensed class next year. And there are several, I mean, we offer ours, but there's also the Carol Ball School of Real Estate. There's the Siler School of Real Estate. There are several other that the others that they can do um, on, just strictly online if that's something that interests them. Everyone has a different learning style, so we want to make sure we can accommodate that. State of Hawaii announced uh, yesterday they're projecting higher growth in our economy at 3.9%, up a full point and a half from prior projections. So not only are we recovering in our economy and stabilizing, but they're projecting 4% growth, which as a state for one year is a lot. So um, buckle up, 
You want to be doing um, your in business planning, which we'll touch on in a moment, to prepare yourself to be able to service all the clients that are going to be coming your way. All right, so who has more clients than they can deal with right now? They can't service everyone knocking on their door. Nobody. Okay. I have my bold shirt on today because we are in bold right now. Um, those of you who elected to participate and we're seeing great results, people who are signing listings, contracts, moving forward, uh, which takes me into your year end business planning. December is a great time. And actually many of our agents start looking at this in October and November. But if you haven't, uh, December is a great time to uh, evaluate how your year has you know, come to this point, what's working, what's not working. It also gives you an opportunity to re-embrace the Keller Williams systems and models I recommend every agent in the month of December reread the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book. It's the red book. You can buy it online. You can buy it in the office. Um, I have a few copies in my office that I, I buy to give out to people. Um, if we run out, you can come see me in call me. And it just is a great time to really revisit and double down on the basics. It also... If you are overwhelmed and super busy, it tells you that first hire, how to take that step from a single agent to that first hire, which is going to be an assistant. Um, and there are in-person assistants, virtual assistants. You can have assist assistants focused on specific segments of your business. Uh, they can be doing your TC work. They can be doing admin work. You can have one that does just marketing. So there are, um, are lots of ways to leverage your time. What do we have? What do I always say that realtors have two things in life? What are the two things? This is a Starbucks $25 gift card question. What are the two things that Michelle always says? You only have two things as a realtor. Uh, more time or more money? <laughs> Close. You got one of them. Time. You have time and leverage knowledge oh okay so uh when i'm teaching classes in the market center when i'm teaching pre-license i say we only have two things in, in our careers we have time our time and our knowledge and that's what we bring to the table professionally so we'll have to come up with another question because no one got it i want to give away a gift card today all right who has started their year-end business planning Sasha Murphy, awesome. What ha what's the one thing you've done so far to think about your business next year? I loved uh, Colette's idea to take a day. And so I had my day and I personally input 365 contacts and then had Scott Leroy Marketing and put like another 2000. So I, that was powerful to take the time <laughs> to plan the next year and what steps I need to take to get there. So. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's it's being intentional and mindful, right? Intentional and mindful. I was attending Colette's business planning class. I've attended it every year and I always attend to see what's new. And I was in the back of the room and she's like, okay, Michelle, how many contacts do you have? Well, as you know, I my primary focus is as PB, so I'm not active in my business, but I, I have stuff in command that I work on. And I'm like, ah, I think it's like just under 500. And she's like, I know you've been in the business a long time. That is not your number. And I'm like, no, actually, I looked in command. It is my number. And um, she's like, I want you to open your cell phone right now. And I opened my cell phone and I looked. And she told me how to get to contacts. And I had 1,500 contacts in my Apple iPhone. So I, am, I contacted Scott Leroy Marketing. They sent me a little video thing, kind of a la Latasha. Latasha, I love your little... This is a step-by-step -step how to do it because even I can do it then. And they sent me the instructions on how to do it. So if you do not, if you check the number of contacts in your phone and you don't have equal or greater to that number of contacts in your command database contacts, email Scott Leroy today. That's the one thing you can do. You can get your in contacts into command, whether it's from your social media platforms, your cell phone. Um, right there, I'm going to, 
you know, take it from 500 to 2000. I had 1500 in my phone. So I'm sure there's some overlap. I will go through and vet it and make sure that, that we're, we get down to one contact each, but they will also um, set you up on campaigns. Um, and Latasha, do you want to talk about that? Do we still have opportunity for people to participate in our pilot for um, our campaign plans? Yeah, yeah. So the pilot program is still going on. We still have plenty of space. First of all, I do <laughs> want to mention it is complimentary. Again, the first thing I want to mention is it's complimentary. Again, it's complimentary. So the market center is investing in you. So please, please take advantage of the opportunity. You can either go with Scott Leroy marketing team and or um, elite VA. But what they're gonna do is they're gonna guide you through the process of making sure, just like Michelle mentioned, that you've got all your contacts in there. They're gonna show you how to do that as well as they're gonna help you um, identify those smart plans that you wanna get your um, clients on. So I can also help you and guide you and give you guidance, but that program is there for you. The market center is investing in you. So take advantage of it. It is complimentary. Reach out to me if you have any questions. And that is why we're talking about it, about year-end planning, about leverage. Um, people say, I've heard many agents say, uh, I don't have enough time in the day. Um, here's two opportunities that I saw were gaps and holes in my command use. So I'm moving those contacts in. Scott Leroy turned around, I'm on this pilot program. They reached out to me and they said, okay, we're gonna put your people on neighborhood nurtures. And they asked me a couple of questions. Is this what you want? Yes, they're doing it. So there's no excuse for you not to fully leverage the free services being provided to you, um, whether it's listing, new listing marketing that's being done for us for free, whether it is the smart plans pilot, those are all things you can do for free. So some of you have heard me, I'm going to say this again, and then we're going to open up the floor. When I taught consistently in the market center, one of the things I would say is as new agents and even agents in your business that are mid-level agents, you don't have to go out and pay for Boomtown and Brevity and all these tools. Start yourself with what you already pay for. And so what do we have? Well, you're a member of the local association. RAM has a lot of tools. You're a member of the state and the national association. Both the state and the national have a lot of tools, particularly the NAR website. Like I can get lost and go down the rabbit hole on the, on the NAR website. And every time I go, I'm like, oh, I didn't know they had that brochure. I didn't know I could order that. I didn't know I could download that. Oh my gosh, that's a great video. That's a super idea for something I could create a short one minute video and post and put out to my clients. Marian, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. What a great lead in. I just went to that um, NAR email that we all got. And if you would allow me to share my screen, Latasha, that would be great. And when you're done, if you'll speak to the two Paragon classes on Friday, I spoke to those earlier. Okay, so um, Paragon, I'm teaching the overall full summary review of Paragon on December 14th, I believe. The um, Paragon classes being offered by Paragon um, are very specific, topic specific. So that's the difference. Next week, I am teaching a real estate licensees responsibilities during escrow. Um, if you haven't done that, if you haven't done a deal in a while, um, it's all about what is your responsibility from a realtor's viewpoint, not escrow, um, what, it, what is our job, right? So it's a, it's a great course. Even if you use TCs, how do you manage your TC? What are, what are you responsible for versus the TC, right? So a uh, great course and it's CE. So those are the two coming up. All right, let me see here if I can share. I wanted to share with you that we all got this email. My new MVP award is waiting for me, right? So I clicked here and I was able to download for free the um, brochure called um, Social Media for Realtors, 100 Do's and Don'ts. And a great little summary with lots of actually 101 do's and don'ts. Here they all are. 
in social media. How cool is that? The other thing I was able to um, download for free is the 2021 um, Home Buyer and Seller Survey that NADR does annually. And look at this, it compares 1981 to 2021 and shows how many first time home buyers there are, what's the age of the average or the median age of um, first time buyers, how many people use the internet? Look at this, right? That's, I love that. Um, use newspapers. Woo, there went newspapers. Finance their home um, purchase. Gone down. Typical down payment. Look at that. 13% from 20%. Share bought their family home single, right? Um, share bought single family home is up 80 to 82%. Bought through an agent from 82% to 87%. And by the way, using a realtor to sell your home is up to 90%. With 7% uh, doing FISBOs, um, some of those and half of those FISBOs are not for sale by owners, but they sold to somebody they knew. Um, here's age of a repeat buyer, right? 36, 30 years ago, it's now 56 today. Uh, share of married couples, share of single family homes, um, single females, this is single males, and unmarried couples. So, and then it goes on to these summary points. And the value of this research, you can download it for free. The value of this research is it helps you talk to your buyers and sellers because it tells you what they want. It tells you what they think is most important. So take a look at this research. It's free on the NAR site. Thanks so much, Marian. And so, and that's the point I'm getting to is as you're looking at your year-end business planning, you have the marketing and um, command services that were being offered to you complimentary. Look to your memberships. You also can get discounts through NAR. So go to the NAR page and look at the member discounts. There's all sorts of brochures that you can order slap a sticker on it and boom, hand to a client. So I tell people, do not recreate the wheel. And you're already paying for these services for all of these benefits and perks at the three levels of your association through your membership dues. So get the value for what you're paying for, not just popping into a CE class um, or onto a caravan. There's much, much more. I also want to encourage everyone in our team, you know, we represent one of the largest, if not lar the largest company on the island at this time, and we're growing greatly on the big island, is take this time of the year to reconsider your community involvement. Either volunteer for a committee at your local board or serve a nonprofit in your local community. Another free, easy access way to interface with people even when we're not interfacing, because all of these nonprofit organizations have membership lists, volunteer lists, and find something that interests you, that you're passionate about. That's one more thing you can add to your website, one more thing you become known for. And these are all just tips and tricks to get you excited, invigorated for the new year. So those are my points for this morning that I wanted to share with everyone. It is now 10 till nine. I want to open the floor for anyone who has a new listing that they'd like to share, a challenging listing they need help on, a listing you have open that another agent could sit in open house. So if you could raise your hand and Latasha, if you could call on people, um, anyone who wants to share property specific first, and then we'll open it up from there. Nobody has a listing that they just is hot and new. Nancy has her hand up, Michelle. Great. I can't see Nancy. Thank you for help. <laughs> Nancy, please share. I have a listing at uh, Hanukkah East. It's a studio. It's upgraded. It's leasehold and it's vacant. So if somebody wants to sit open house during December, just let me know. Oh, what a great opportunity. Agents. West Side Open House in December during Festivus, Christmas, New Year's, the whole month. We have people who come to Maui before Christmas. 
I mean, that's their annual thing. They come and they're here the first two weeks of the month and then they go home back East and they celebrate Christmas um, or people who already live here. And then they go to the mainland for the holidays. Even though it's not Christmas week, it's a great opportunity to get out in the marketplace. Nancy, thank you so much for being willing to share and support Our everyone. Staff. Jeannie has her hand up. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Jeannie, Latasha. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Um, I just wanted to mention, uh, I had spoken with Michelle about, because uh, we have a, a listing that went into escrow, um, but we have tenants on that property. And there's definitely a lot of particulars that <laughs> we needed to uh, learn about. Anyway, and, and Michelle, you talked about that handbook. So maybe that information uh, would be important for other people um, if they, you know, if sure. they need research. Yeah. So I just wanted to mention Thanks, Jeannie. Thank you for so, that. Um, you're welcome. Jeannie called me over the weekend and we were talking about the state of Hawaii landlord tenant handbook mm -hmm. that is available for any landlord to download for free online. And I directed her to, to share that with her clients because we are not property management professionals. So we can't advise them on tenant issues. We're also not attorneys. We don't want to give them legal advice, but you can easily say, hey, that sounds like a tenant issue. Why don't you download the state handbook and it's landlord tenant handbook and they can print it right there. They can view it online and it's a great resource. So reference that or call your BIC. We're always happy to re-refer you to that source. All right, who's next? Okay, well, I have a new listing that's gonna go in the MLS today, I'll share. Uh, Connapoly Shores, two bedroom, two bath, coming on the market for 975. It's on the second floor. Great access to the pool. Um, I think it is going to go pretty quickly. So if anyone has a kind of Polly Shores buyer, give me a call. Um, who else has something they want to share if it's not property related since we're not all having all I these I do, I do. Okay, you're up. Latasha, it's you. So for those of you that have not paid attention to Facebook or not on Facebook, guess what arrived yesterday? We have the brand new command app and it is awesome. So for Apple users only, Android's coming soon. But for those people that um, are Apple users, you can go to the app store and download the app. It's awesome. I've tested it. I actually downloaded it on my phone um, last night and played with it. Um, it's super cool. It's exactly what you need as an agent. So Download it, reach out to me if you have questions. I put it in the Facebook. I'll also um, put the information also in the chat, but download the app, it's amazing. Very exciting. And although it doesn't apply to our market center, uh, I do wanna let everyone know that KW Prep has launched nationwide. Um, so if you have friends or family or clients on the mainland in market centers outside of Hawaii, just Google KW Prep and it is live, they can sign up. It's a 17 module digital program for enhancement. It's for new agents, it's for existing agents. And uh, I've got the KW Command app ready to be downloaded on my phone. I saw that yesterday, I will be um, putting it to use. In fact, I'm gonna start the download now. Um, I encourage everyone, if you're an Apple user, get it, get, get started using it. It's going to change your life. Having it in the palm of your hand is going to change your life. All right. We have four minutes to go. Who else has something? I have an announcement. Like All um, right. Kayla. Yes. So everyone on behalf of the cultural committee, Jonathan and I were putting, to, uh, putting together a holiday dessert social at the EL River Valley Park next week, Wednesday from three to five in the afternoon. Um, I will post the deep, uh, you can just come to the park where the picnic area is at the EL River Valley Park. Bring your favorite dessert. And Jonathan has also organized um, a little treasure hunt. Um, so uh, we invite everyone and we have an RSVP optional if, if you wanna, or you can just show up as well. So that's it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I unfortunately am not going to be able to join you guys. I'm traveling to California for a regional leadership meeting with Latasha and Andy and Keone, but um, Ray, Ray and Shelby are going to hold down the fort. So it's only for a day. We'll be <laughs> out and back before you know it. Anything that else that anyone wants to share? Andy, I see your hand is up. I just want to make sure that the Big Island people um, have seen that Dan is putting on a business planning on Thursday, the 9th, and there is still room. It's live only, but we would love to have you. And I just heard that uh, the Big Island is allowing up to 25 people inside. So um, please sign up. Awesome. Thanks, Andy. And just to touch on that, uh, the governor did make a new proclamation on Monday of this week. He has now designated authority for rules to the counties and to the mayors. And the mayors are starting to promulgate those changes. On Maui, uh, Mayor Victorino has lifted restrictions in restaurants. Um, they will be able to go to 100% capacity without social distancing, as long as you are vaccinated or have a COVID negative test within the last 48 hours. They've also lifted on Maui all limits on outdoor gatherings. So that will start to reopen as well. Andy, is your hand up again or still up? It's still up, it's, sorry. It's your, okay. <laughs> no worries. All right, guys, um, 8.59, it is an incredible time to be in real estate in Hawaii and on Maui and on the Big Island, Kauai, Oahu. Uh, we are well positioned and well supported. Again, refocus, do your business planning for next year, utilize everything you already paid for that's free, including Keller Williams tools. Go on the site, explore KW Connect, Explore KWU, look at what the market center is offering. Um, you don't need to spend an extra penny this year to jumpstart your business. So have a great week, guys, and we'll see you next week. Aloha, thank you. thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Bye. Mahalo, Michelle. Have an awesome day, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys too.